Ghost Seeker would be nice, but likely to be banned out by Liquid. I mean, in this corner last game has been Esky, they took out the, the Void. Uh, I mean, partially because ban. Liquid had Invoker as well. Team Liquid's turn to pick. Yeah, the Terra Blade removed. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, <laughs> Reflections yeah, are yeah. really, really good against AM. Dire team as we saw previous game. Dragonite. And the last big Dragonite, so they got so some they, they still have like a push. Later. They still have like a push going yeah, like, so like four, four one, like four protect one. Off lane, like Veno. I wonder, if, does that put Machu on the anti-mage, I guess, since Miracle, Miracle often no, plays it? Uh, actually, could be either way, but... Either way, but I think I would actually put AM on remaining. Miracle. I think he he's the guy that, Five the way they distribute the heroes remaining. is like, he's always on the guy that farms the most. Yeah. Yes, uh, that, at least that's normally their plan going in. Some yeah. games, like the lifestyle one we saw, it happens that Matu does end up getting more fun, but that's never yeah, like but maybe he's the not, plan. That's not part of the plan. He, he yeah. was not supposed to be the... That's how the lanes, yeah. in a way, yeah. Well, it's a pretty, idea, but... pretty hard to to choose a hero right now here for Mineski. That the bird seeker's open, but it's not like great. It's okay. They need a hero that can fight. I think. Not not very sure what's best for Mushi here. They have to pick also a hero that yep. fits him. You seen play the Luna earlier. They did lose that game. Oh, that's Luna's a... not good here. That's very good. Here. How about the Sven? That's a hero that actually does pretty well against the AM in terms of the mm -hmm. burst physical damage. Yeah, but doesn't you don't want to fight against the Venom. That's the only thing. No. Yeah, but can mm -hmm. work. They have to pick one evil. I don't see like any like clear good picks here for, for them. Alchemist. It will be the Alchemist. Your hero. You're quiet, Winter. Quiet, man. No, I mean like <laughs> after the Alchemist pick, do you like it or not? Um, it's okay. Alchemist against AM matchup is, uh, depending on if Alchemist can hit the timing, uh, Alchemist can definitely win against AM, because you're going to farm faster than him. But if you don't use the timing, and you don't hit the timing to siege and end the game, or get Rex at least like 25-30 minutes around around that time, then the AM is going to overtake the game. So, Alchemist is, is okay, but you have her time. You have All time right. limit. So you think Mineski can do it? But you who do you think? One team name. I don't need to know if you think that Liquid is going to win this I right now or Liquid's not. I think Liquid is going to win because of what happened last game. It's very hard to recover from that kind of loss. It's Ten very difficult. Remaining. I agree, and I think it's just it is a great anti mage game. The, as Winch said, the out can kind of be remaining. AM to like the the key item timings. But yeah. Liquid's such a good team at stalling. They've got Coddle too, so you can buy time for the anti mage. I think Liquid will take this game in four. All right, let's find out what's going to happen and if Liquid indeed can take the championship with the next game because. They could. This is game number four of the Grand Finals. Over to Capitalist and Blitz. We're heading to the final days of this patch. Who knows how much longer it will last, but it seems like this tournament started off with all aggression. Five-man lineups, Chen pushing, just taking over the game as soon as possible, trying to end it before the 40-minute marker. And it seems like our end of our tournament is going later and later, an Alchemist versus an Animage farm matchup, Blitz. Yes, an Alchemist versus AM, pretty iconic. Something I'm more surprised about is this Naga Siren all of a sudden coming back. <laughs> yeah, that's not exactly what I expected, but it does seem to be doing pretty good as a forfeit. Like, what are the downsides of support Naga Siren? Mm, she's not the best damage healer. Okay. Net is, of course, a pretty good uh, spell in the early game, but it does become really different as the game goes later on. And something I also want to point out is the Dragon Knight for mind control. Do That is really So we've got a Matsu, uh, a Matsu Venomancer still. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Yeah. Miracle AM. It's just a question of who's going where. And it looks like Dragon Knight's kind of set up for bottom lane. They're trying to scout out the lanes. Yeah. GH will successfully scout it out and should be able to roll away. Yeah. And he's going to get netted, but should still be fine. Glimpse, no way that's going to touch him, even if he did level it, which he doesn't. We'll you really play. don't we'll want to level that and not get a kill. Yeah. Oh, now he doesn't have Riptide for the harassment. Ooh, that does feel bad. Yeah. Although it's okay. Low mana cost, not a, the largest investment. It's not like Lich, you know, when you level Frost Blast. Yes. And you don't have Sacrifice, and all of a sudden you're telling yourself, why am I playing this game? Yep. 
So, mind control Dragonite. Offlane Dragonite in general. Can we do this? Can we do, is this where this hero goes now? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know either. Genuinely, there is just as curious as you are. Dude, there's never been oh. a meta where side lane Dragonite was a thing. Cool, GH just drags everyone away for like a minute and a half and he TPs away. All right, good job, GH. So the Venomancer is here to put pressure on the Alchemist. Now, this, these laning adjustments, they're just a, a result of the Alchemist pickup, right? Yeah. The Dragonite wouldn't put enough pressure on the Alchemist. And this Anti-Mage really wants to be against this Nyx Assassin. Feels like this is the better matchup for him. Mind Control doesn't really care. He's got Dragon's Blood and that poor man shield. Doesn't really fear death too hard. Is He's going to get netted up. Even if the arrow follows up, doubt they kill him. He's got a lot of health. And Liquid, yeah, they read this pretty well. They got all the lane matchups that they wanted, in fact. Do you like the anime? So, they want... Mineski want to move the Murana into the anime lane, right? Yeah, but switching around is a little bit difficult as mid lane. We know how important it is to shut down an Alk early game. Venomancer, as demonstrated in the previous game, one of the best heroes at just straight up killing him. Yeah, he's so good versus any melee hero. And Alchemist is particularly squishy. So Mineski have to find a way to be able to counter these constant rotations into the mid lane to keep the Alchemist down, while at the same time making sure they don't lose their side lanes and let the AM totally free farm, which is currently what's happening is he's going up against Ice Ice Ice, the Nyx Assassin. Burning him completely out of mana. And jabs. Just being forced out a oh, little bit. Roll, jabs. He is the bigger man here. GH does not want to fight up against an Naga Siren with all that armor. Spray in mid, blast on top of Unda, getting a lot of damage here. It looks like they're just going to run him underneath this tier one tower. Kinetic field goes out, but it might not be enough. Go for the deny. He got it. Ninja Boogie manages to stop that one. Matumpa Man even healing himself up for those crucial seconds. Be able to uh, make sure he stays alive. And we'll. Find a regen too, so why not? Doesn't need to go back to base. And meanwhile in mid, he kicks him out, trying to get him under the blast. Gonna whiff though, and the GHR spirit not gonna be successful in that gank. Although it is interesting that Crow's the one playing the Keeper of the Light, considering how heralded his Kata was during TI. Yeah. But he was practicing Earth Spirit, I think, during the offseason, just spamming that hero. Mind control is 11 and 2, and the Barana looks pretty injured. Even though he won't be able. Wait, can he pick up? Is he gonna go bottle in the side lane? Side chop? Uh, maybe. I'm and not he, sure. If he you usually wants it. go for it as mid Dragonite, right? Because you have mana problems. What else could you do to solve that? Oh. oh wow, what a switcheroo we're gonna have here. Alchemist heads down to the Dragonite lane, which is what Maneski wanted all along. Uh -oh. And we'll see Murana rotate. Well, I don't know. He's taking neutrals right now. Probably just run towards mid. The question for me is, what what lane setup would you like as... Oh, a sent back. Mid? Oh, what a kick down the cliff from GH. A sick play there. And Kuro with the blast. Getting another kill for Liquid. 2-0 lead for them as oh, GH. Sidesteps the arrow, but it looks like Mushi's still going to be able to get the kill. Yeah, he was trying to time that salve, but... Mushi still gets the kill, like you said. And, and he had the, the orb of Venom, too. Yeah. If he doesn't have that, then he'll pop the cell yeah. under the tower. That's Jabs. Level 2, Earth Spirit, gonna get the roll. Dude, this crowd's going crazy for reasons that I have no idea with. I, I mean, they showed Miracle for like one second and everyone goes insane. <laughs> Ninja Boogie, trading hits with Kuro. He's trying to get himself denied and... Keeper of the Light, unable to do that. Yeah, and that's a pretty good kill for... For Munez. In snare, but uh, Mushi doesn't have a clear shot for the arrows, so Jab's just gonna take a bit of damage. Alchemist is gonna be spending jungle time already, it seems like. He's trying to clear through that stack a little bit before he heads back down to bottom lane. Mind control. Just farming up, and all three liquid cores doing quite well for themselves here early on. Mineski, I don't think they can really change the lanes. 
No. If so, they would have already done that, right? Yes. And Ninja Boogie gonna get run into. It, it looks like they're just gonna get picked up all the time. Ninja Boogie sends back GH, but it's already too late. The damage has been done. And Kuro. <laughs> He's he trying saving to this for mind control? mind control? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's gonna Maybe he's saving it. it for GH. Oh, a net, but Mushi's really low and he had to hit that arrow. Unable oh, to get it. Now he's, he's gonna, gonna be gailed up. Oh, no! There's no way Jabs can run down Matumba Man, so there is no turnaround here. Roll through by GH. Jabs not gonna be hit by that one. Jeez, Mineski are just falling apart in this laning phase. Yeah. Roll not gonna connect. Not a whole lot that they can do. As we are seeing the downside of the Naga, it kind of happened in the last game too, if you remember. But mind control hit. This arrows. time we get the arrow, and Mushi is as well. Uh, but Jab trying to get the kill on GH, but he is able to get away. Pop that healing south. So another gank on mid. They're just feeding Matumba Man so many kills. And occasionally, every once in a while, we're gonna check in on Miracle and Ice Ice Ice, which are constantly having their right click battle. And AM has actually been surpassed by this Nyx Assassin, surprisingly. Yeah, he's doing really well in CS, Ice 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 is. Yeah, really figured this would have been a free lane for this anti-mage, but at top, Ice Ice now, Ice getting a little bit low. He's just running out of regen. Miracle always able to trade hits more efficiently with three tangos as well as a Ring of Hell sitting there. Yeah, Mind Control popped the Dragon Form, hitting this bottom tower. And I guess this is the upside of having a safe lane Dragon Knight. Something we almost never see. Have seen an off lane Dragon Knight from VP. When was that? Uh, that was... Can't remember. Maybe a TI or something. Uh, Mushi trying to get the arrow here. Miracle. They are going to be able to just burst him down. It looks like the blink was still on cooldown for another second. And they do manage to get that tower at bottom for Liquid. Yeah. This is the Liquid special though. Is We have three cores that can all scale. What are you going to do about it? Who are you going to choose to kill? Because the other two will prosper as a result. And that's exactly what's happening. They managed to grab that bottom tower. They're even making the invasion. Oh no, the blast comes in. Doesn't actually take any of the CS. Just weakens up the camp for oh. uh, Moon. GH, I think he snagged one of them before he rolls away. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting that they decided to take that bottom tower instead of Mind Control making the rotation in a mid. And I think the reason for that is they want to control this area up so that the Al can't just free farm his jungle. Yeah, the offlane jungles, right, are always the, the best place for alchemists to hang out. He's got an ancient camp there as well. Moon? Jesus, that, it looks like Moon's just going to die here. Yep, he's going to go down and jabs. Ice 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 makes his first rotation, though. Does manage to get the counter kill onto the Keeper of the Light. If they could get GH as well, that'd be great. They do have Glimpse. He is going in deep here. He's out of mana. Should be a kill for Mineski. They've got net. He's got to roll up in a second, as well as a TP, the only mana for one of them. He could just TP out. Yeah, they no longer have uh, Sable, but instead he goes for the roll. To freedom. And now mid tower is going to die as well, so with the off lane tower gone, mid tower gone, we are rapidly losing a lot of control of our jungle for Mineski. And Alchemist needs a good 10 minutes to be able to work on those jungle creeps. Yeah, he's got phase boots, doesn't quite have the armlet yet. Gold 3k to the side of Liquid, and Alchemist lineup's not used to being behind at all, but it's not as bad as it seems. The Disruptor's net worth is kind of weighing things down a little bit as Kuro being chased down. Stun's gonna connect. This should be a kill. Easy kill there, but Ice 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 is right next to Motumba Man, so he's just going to go for the TP away, but gets hit by the stun from GH. So that is not a trade worth it. They just committed to be able to kill Keeper of the Light. Oh, the stun lands. It still lands past the leap. The roll in is not going to be there, but GH might be able to have a kick up in a second. Not soon enough, though. Mushi is going to be able to get he back to the tower. Really Apparently, my control just wants to be able to get that bit of poison on the tier one. Yeah. Wanted to be able to transition that mid push into a top push, but Dragon Form going to end. And now it's Miracle. Gonna be left up here. Just to farm to his own devices. And not much doing. Alchemist really trying to get to that armlet. Finding whatever space that he can. Much better game than they had than that Arc Warden game. Yeah. Where he was their true one and he just couldn't really get anything online. This Alk is being much more successful than that. I like the way you're looking at this in the silver lining. It could be worse. It's not even that bad, honestly. 
Oh, oh no, the arrow misses out. And GH holding on to the stun just to make sure they get the stun lock as long as possible. Mushi will end up going down underneath that tier one tower, a tower that is the last remaining tier one for Mineski. Yeah. I don't know if they're willing to uh, rotate up there to defend it and keep it alive. Ice 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 this time will miss out on the kill on Kuro. He's gotten so many of them before. Every single vendetta, it seems, is aimed towards the freebie on the Keeper of the Light, but this time it misses. This is a really nice game for that Nyx. Uh, even though he's missed one or two kills, he is two and one. He's very good against the Keeper of the Light. Was one of the counters that we first saw. Let's back into the static storm. They caught Matamba Man. Now they just hope to be able to finish him off so he doesn't manage to get off any of his poison. And Snare locks him down a little bit longer. He's out of the silence, but Matamba Man doesn't have his ultimate. So he'll just throw out the Gale and will end up falling. Again, every single time Mineski get one of these kills, it takes three or four heroes. Liquid are always farming out in two other lanes. Yeah, that is the benefit of having these cores that somebody's always farming on the side of Liquid, and you can shut one of them down, but the other two will find oh, some look. room. Oh, another, oh, another Keeper of the Light kill. Nyx is just beasting on that right now. Okay, now this is going to get Nyx's assassin a lot of free kills, but couldn't it be said that these, these vendettas could be used to kill more important heroes on Liquid? Like who? I, Miracle's not an easy kill. He's a kill that you maybe get, it takes a lot of lockdown, which they don't quite have. And you'd have to devote another core to that cause. And if you don't get that kill, then it's like two minutes of free farm on the side of Liquid. Not the Venomancer either. E e either. The Venom is probably the easiest of the three targets. Yeah. But it's trying to corral all three cores. That's going to be what causes Mineski a lot of annoyance while trying to create space for their Alchemist to farm. Who is getting a lot of farm now? He's got a thousand gold up, the armlet -like completed. And once he gets that Radiance, this game becomes pretty annoying for Liquid to play. They don't have something like this Ancient Apparition. They do have heroes that can clear waves though, and push in waves. That is the good side for them. And that's very important against Alk, having oh, heroes that can just shove. Ice, 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 yeah, run into that smoke. Liquid got nothing for it. Yeah. And he's even Kuro gonna go even Kuro. Yeah, go for it. Ice, ice, ice. He does have that haste rune to make sure he gets out. They, he knows they don't really have stuns. Yeah. They wanted to be able to transition that smoke into this bottom push very naturally. It's going to come anyways, but during this time, Miracle going to get slept up. They do have the Disruptor ult too. We'll head over to that top shrine area where the Static Storm is controlling him. The Glimpse back. They're trying He's to lock trying him down to get with the Instair, but they just don't have the damage. With the Dragon Knight stun onto Mushi, they lost all their physical damage, and now he has to go for the TP out. So a failed gank there might just turn into worse here if Mind Control can actually grab the real uh, Naga Siren. I mean, he definitely found it. So that kill will actually be given to Miracle. He not only doesn't die, he gets a kill on the way out. Just a free 215 gold and very smart of him. He hugs the edge of that corner as tight as he can. The Earth Spirit thankfully popped that shrine for him. Good heads up play by both of the Liquid members. They turn around, get a good kill. They did <laughs> stop the bottom push as a result though. Yeah. Matumba Man here to finish what the Dragon Knight could not. They've Those are only got it too. two heroes down here. Maneski really don't want to just give this up for free. Nyx Assassin making the long trek down. Mind Control, but not the target that you want to run into. 1500 health and a hood. It's really Kuroki that you just want to keep finding if you can. Where's their sentries? gonna spot. Man, Invis heroes are so good against Liquid. <laughs> just because they just don't seem to buy much detection. Yeah, they, maybe they'll get gif gifted a gem or something as... Oh, the silence goes down just before the Marana can make the leap away. Nice pickup by GH. Yeah, and the Courier oh. gonna run straight past Nyx. Oh no. Doesn't get it, and his ulti's gonna run out, He's which is gonna mean full retreat for Mineski. As Miracle's gonna use his space, pick up his treads, and now his timing is very good. Immediately queuing up that Manta, no Vlads for him. And they're even hitting high ground a little bit. There's no way they keep going for this. Yes, there is. Elder Dragon form, gonna be popped. A lot of damage going out on this tower. This seems to just be the Liquid Special. Early tower pushes. If you don't come back, they'll just hit your tier threes. No team is like this. And that'll be a lot of time wasted. Now we know Bunch of Mineski members in that top right half of the map. And Liquid 
kind of do whatever they want. Looks like they'll take over that off lane jungle area. It's a very distinct difference from our usual invasion into the enemy's jungle. As you said, taking over that off lane jungle. Is there, is, like, what is the bigger advantage of taking out the off lane jungle as opposed to the regular jungle from an alchemist? Uh, it actually doesn't matter too much, but they wanted to be able to pressure this tier three early, I think, because they understand the kind of timer that they're on. This mind control, making the trek along. When Light Shadow is going to be able to hide some of them, they're going to go for GH to burst. The Static Storm gets laid out, but Matumba Man's not caught in it, so he does manage to get out all of his poison. A big blast comes out for the Keeper of the Light, and Jabs will call the retreat. Pops that Saga and Siren, but the, the, the poison, poison sting. is doing so much damage with the help of the wards onto the Nyx Assassin. Miracle's gonna be able to have another blink, almost catches him. You can even see the Spike Carapace being popped. They do manage to kill that Naga Siren. And Nyx, he's still taken out, but he popped a shrine, so he will manage to survive. 12 to 9, 5,000 gold lead, Keeper of the Light. And the rest of his homies on Team Liquid are destroying this game. And something I'd like to point out is if you just take a look at the vision game, right now, Liquid. They're largely playing on their vision, playing around this area where they have their ward. And if you take a look at Maneski, they placed this ward up at top and the one near the top rune as well. And neither of them have really paid off for them. And so it's almost always about who can play better around their vision. And so far, that's Liquid. That's why they feel so comfortable going for this tier three. Another tier two down. Mind Control and Matumba Man just seem to be an unstoppable pushing duo. Yeah, that Dragon Knight pick really working out for them. But of course, there's the ever-looming threat of this Alchemist. And this Nyx Assassin has done a lot of work. Going to go for the Blink Dagger. His farm has been slowed down so much, by the way, Cap, because he's been coming to all these engagements yeah. and trying to get these failed pickoff attempts. And instead, he's just watching Liquid push. A Nyx Assassin against a pushing team sometimes feels pretty rough. And this game is no exception. Yeah. Because you're just watching people push, and if you can't burst somebody down, your hero kind of loses its edge. It's like the bounty hunter that has to watch people five minutes. Yeah. As Liquid, going for this early Roche, they've got the Solar Crest on the Venno. The Radiance is coming in for the Alchemist. Yeah, they too. need to take this fight. If Arrow's going to win. here, just a little bit sooner. They don't have the Naga Siren Sleep to be able to set up some sort of Static Storm initiation. Well, Kurokai, I've already finished the Keeper of the Light, though. Maneski really need to take They're this fight. They're so close. Maneski just need to get in there. But the Age is already picked up by the enemy. And now GH is actually going to make the initiation onto the Alchemist first. They're going to go for him. Never mind. They actually go for Ninja Boogie in the back line, hoping he will stop the Static Storm. But he managed to get out of there. Alchemist is staying alive bit by bit. But oh, finally, he takes solo. down the damage over the time. One by one, Liquid just kind of divide up and take hero for hero. Miracle going to be able to get the bat line of both the Disruptor and that... Uh, Marana of Mushis, and he's even going to be pulled to extra farm. Bottom lane, it's all his now. Yeah, they really needed to get out there. As soon as they couldn't commit for that Aegis fight, full retreat should have been on the minds of everyone from Maneski. They felt like that Radiance timing, though, they absolutely needed to fight it before things got out of control. But unfortunately for them, they're going to get wiped. And Ice Ice Ice. <laughs> you think that's your area, but here? it's not. Barely survives. GH was so close to being able to get out of stun. Yeah. And there's a DD rune at bottom. Big question now is, when does Liquid decide that they are strong enough to go for the high ground push? Keep it alight. No money on him, but this Dragon Knight, really tanky. Not the easiest person to take down for Maneski. This Venomancer, in a similar situation, has the Venom Wards. And with the Keeper of the Light Chakra Magic, he can place the double one down. Man, this is crazy. The combination of this push against Alchemist. Now they're just controlling bottom lane and not letting Alchemist go to that top half, which he could have farmed up. He's constantly having to be with his team to protect this. All right, here's the initiation. Sleep first into a kinetic field static storm, but all these heroes are split up, so instead they're just going to go for the arrow combination. Oh, he doesn't get it. Man, but he doesn't get the static storm off. Miracle managed to get that kill. The unstable concoction comes in from behind as Moon is here, but Liquid is just ignoring him for the time being, going and pushing Maneski back into their base. What a kick from GH, though, and a follow-up here from the enemy. Oh, blows up and gets a ton of AOE damage on the back line. Both oh, of no. Nyx Assassin and Naga Siren. This Maneski is going to be five. Chased all the way to the phone, an ultra kill for Miracle. Liquid. All five heroes down. They take the base so quickly. And with an anti-mage lineup, they're taking oh rest in 19 minutes. Oh my minutes. god. Diving fountain like that. MC is going to die instantly buys back. He's going to get recalled in at the last second. He senses that this game is over. 
Mineski, they're not calling it yet, but they're having to watch a lane of racks by 20 minutes, possibly two here. Mineski are going to try for one more team fight, it seems. They are low enough level where they do respawn fast enough that I don't know if they can get the second set of racks, so they will play on. This is a minor. This does mean a lot. And snare in. Ice, ice, ice. Falls up. Managed to get the two man side with the Static Storm, which wasn't used last fight. So here it is now That's with the stun. Unstable Concoction here as well. But it's just not doing enough damage. They don't have enough to be able to kill these heroes. Miracle actually comes back to finish up the Alchemist. Godlike already. Shrine Popper, Ice, Ice, Ice. But he's got no damage dealers. It's just the Mirada that's up, and she's wandering oh, she in the side line. Where's she doing? Miracle, he's headed down to finish off the Mirada, and they oh, will be able to be finish game. off the other damage dealer. They're down for 40 seconds. Mineski, I, I love you guys. I'm sorry, but this is over. And A that spirited is run. That last game is going to haunt them. As yes, Liquid showed them how Anti-Mage is done.